Hi guys, I have come up with a new video in which we are going to discuss what we should do in week one or at day one while joining Publicity Sapien. So first of all, congratulations to all of you who have joined Publicity Sapien. Now, uh, actually, I have faced a lot of difficulties in week one while my uh, induction during uh, in Publicity Sapien. So um, that's why I thought of making a video which can help you guys. So there are different steps you should follow during the induction process. Actually, the thing is, as soon as you join Publicity Sapient, you have to submit three documents, right? The first document is PF form, the second is nominee declaration form, and third is the offer letter. And if you are a lateral hire, then you have to submit the initial release mail. I mean, it is, is, it, it is okay for you to submit initial release mail because you people will not get initial release letter from your previous organization because it will take approximately 30 days i think so they will give list of banks right in which you can open account if you have already opened account there then you need not to do anything you have to call the customer i mean customer care number that they will give they will provide you and uh, you have to tell them that uh, join my account with this sapient organization okay so uh, they will provide whole lot of mail id and contact number and all so you need not to worry so on the induction date itself you will be given a, a buddy or a staffing manager who can help you right so uh, every time you, you will be when you will be in trouble uh, you can go to him and ask help from him okay so this is the third thing now um, after one or two days okay uh, after the uh, day one induction you will be given gap of one or two days right and after that your ps start session will start uh, a program is known as PS start in which they will tell about core values and all lot, whole lot of things. After two days from induction program, you will get your LL ID, PS mail ID on your mail, but you won't get default password through which you can log in. Okay, so uh, there are now there are two steps, two cases. Either you have received your office laptop or you have not received, right? So if you do not, if you have not received, then you need not to worry. Uh, you can do one thing. You can just call the global IT support number. They will provide you a number, global IT support number, on which you can call and ask them to set the authentication factor and a default password. Okay. And with the help of that authentication factor, authentication factor is nothing but a one-time password that every time you log in into Outlook or Teams. It will send a, it will send you a six digit code to your mobile number and you have to enter it extra to the password that you are entering okay so uh, with the help of that you, you can log into the teams outlook and uh, from a personal laptop right so now um, there is a one more portal in which you have to fill your time card because attendance is necessary from day one okay so for the PS start session, your PS team will give you the attendance ID for filling four days attendance and for each other days you have to fill uh, attendance ID as bench ID because till now you have not been allocated to any project. So from where did you get that uh, bench ID? So you, you have to ask your buddy. I have said you know that uh, at the first day you have been assigned a buddy. So you have to ask her or him that what is my bench ID, he will talk to you and give it to you and you have to fill the attendance at the end of every week accordingly, okay. Now the second thing is suppose you received, received your laptop. So if you have received your laptop, then you have to do one thing, you have to unlock it. So for unlocking it, you have to again call global IT support team. So they will call you on teams on your personal laptop and they will unlock your laptop and set up vpn okay so because the setting of vpn is important because unless and until you do not set up your vpn you cannot log into oracle so and oracle login is important because in oracle itself you have to submit all your bank details for salary to be get it credited and salary is important for you obviously who who else do not want sell his salary so in case you have joined after 15th or 16th of the month so in that case, you will not be able to log into the Oracle even if, if you have VPN access, right? So in that case, you can do one thing. You can send your uh, bank details address to the payroll team so that they can credit your salary in that bank detail, okay? 
सो आफ्टर पी एस स्टार्ट सेशन यू हैव टू फिल योर रिज्यूमे इन इन रिच पोर्टल सो दैट डिफरेंट प्रोजेक्ट कैन सी योर एवेलेबिलिटी एंड सी योर स्किल्स एंड अकॉर्डिंगली दे कैन एलोकेट योर प्रोजेक्ट इन केस यू हैव एनी क्वेरी प्लीज फील टू रीच आउट टू मी फॉर ऑल डिटेल्स एंड ज्वाइन माई टेलीग्राम चैनल आई विल बी ऑलवेज हैप्पी टू हेल्प यू गाइज सो आई एम प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड लाइक